Hello. Welcome, YouTubers, to Theorist Theories. This is the theorist trying to find understanding in a world of chaos. Let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to talk about a common topic on YouTube. We are going to talk about Meghan Markle and her lovely husband, Harry, Prince Harry. We've been so accustomed to everything that they have always done. Videos and television shows and podcasts and and all these different things and Australian television just going up in flames based on what they do and British television angry. Pierce always angry, especially since he was rejected by her. Um, so there's a lot and it's exasperating and it's tiring. And we all know that if you're a sugar and that's a follower of Megan, or if you are not a sugar and you are outrightly object to everything that they are and that they represent, you can feel like, oh, I just wish that they would just go away and just hide on an island and just be. And we can go into all the different things that they've done and all the different things that they are. They are narcissistic. He is a dummy. Uh, what else have they said about both of them? The, he wasn't as rich as he said he was. She was using him. She uses people as a stepping stone. But the fact of the matter is that she's just, and he is just, an extreme version of all of us. And we can either either try to protect them, as the sugars have done, or try to deal with them, to try to get them to be silent because we're tired of them, as many YouTubers have done. And I don't think anyone is right. I don't think sugars are right. I don't think the uh, those who object, uh, their behavior is right. What I think, though, is that there's a lesson to be learned. And this lesson is, is, is a harsh lesson. And we're just seeing it on television because they're putting it out there for us to see, as obviously they are putting it, I mean, with, between um, their, their false ads or their false articles in magazine, magazines and boozy promoting what they do we have no choice scroll on youtube i see them scroll on 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 yahoo i see them and sometimes i think about what is the lesson behind this other than the fact to avoid narcissists and i will leave that to the experts of narcissism to an analyze Meghan Markle and the experts of psychology to analyze Harry, who I personally believe has a lot of issues. I want to look at the spiritual lessons that they show each and every one of us. Spiritual lesson one, discontentment. We are all discontented. We are all unhappy. We look at our lives, no matter how good we have it, and we say, I want more. I, I, I don't like my apartment. I don't like my car. I don't like my job. I don't like my friends. I don't like my family. I don't like my husband. I don't like my children. Everything is annoying. I want more. And we don't ever practice gratefulness. What Meghan Markle and Prince Harry has done, have done, sorry, is they have taken discontentment to a whole other level because they can. I'm sure each and every one of us, if we had the resources, if we had the money, we could do the same. I don't like my house, I will move. I have the money to do so or the access to funds to do as such. I don't like my car, I will get rid of this car and I will go and I will buy another one. I don't like my family, I will go and jump on a plane and get a rich producer to hide me as if I am a refugee in Canada. 
I'm sure we would. But we don't. But we don't. And, and that's the challenge. So we get annoyed at them. And a piece of us is like, oh my gosh, I wish I could run away from my mother, Dread. I wish I could run away from my dad. But I can't. I can't hide. Because unlike them... Um, but like them too, because they do need people. Um, it's obvious. I may need them in my life emotionally or financially or what, whatever other way there is. But the level of this contentment that they have is blatant. It's never enough. And you would think with all that money that they say that they are earning, with all that little hours of work because <laughs> they don't really work do they right with all of that um and one hour on the actual foundation one hour a week oh my gosh oh, to live that life one hour a week on actual and the little real effort into life uh i think that you know you would think that they would be happy you think that they would be content. You think that they would be like, okay, I am where I am at and I am happy, but there's a fear. And we all have that fear. And that fear is that this is just for a season. And it is, you know, it is. Everything that we do and everything that we live is just for a season. And they know it too, but they can't face what's on the other side of this journey. Because what's on the other side of that, their journey might be something that they may not be able to deal with. And it's the same for us as well. And that's why gratitude must always be pra practiced. You may feel as if you are having a hard life, and it most likely is a hard life. But find within the bad the good. Because with Without the bad, we don't know what good looks like. So that's it for discontentment. Self-hate. Self-worth. The lack of looking at yourself and saying, you know what? I am worth a good life. I am worth anything that I have achieved. And even if I don't achieve anything, I am still a person worthy of love. I am worth goodness. I am worth just being happy. And I believe, by looking at them, that they really do not like themselves. Obviously, Harry from his book Spear does not like himself. That is so clear. Clear as day. And she does not like herself because everything that she connects to, she releases, she sheds, and it's released into the wind. I make a friend. I give that friend friendship. I don't like what that friend, I'm at another level. I don't like what that, where that friend is that. And that friend may not be at that level. So I will shut that friend because that friend is a reflection of what I don't like. But at a point, I liked that friend. So doesn't that mean that I don't like at some points, myself, because I'm all, always trying to rebrand, always trying to shift into another mold, always trying to move into another world where I am not what I used to be, doesn't that mean that I don't like myself? And I'm not even willing to take a piece of myself into this new world. A piece that may be useful or serve a purpose. And some of us do that. When we get our big break, we are like, I don't know who you are to a friend or a family. I'm living this new life and I don't really need you. So we should really look at ourselves and see how we, how the low self value that we may have is affecting our choices and our, and our relationships. If you do or do not agree with this theory, let me know in the comments below. If you think I'm missing something, have your say. 
Hey, I might just be wrong, so let's discuss. And then we have victimhood. I think I understand victimhood more than anything else when it comes to Meghan Markle. Being of mixed race, just like her, I am black, but I am of mixed race. And being an outsider, you get into a, into a, hmm, what's the right word? Into a sphere of victimhood. Where it is you believe any and anyone is after you. Any and anyone will attack you because you are not accepted. Yes, you may be loved, but you are not the same. And a lot of persons don't accept that. Oh, you look just like us. No, I am not the same. Because if you see my dad, you will be like, oh my gosh, I did not know your father was father was white. That's her case. Or, oh my dad, I did not know your mother was black. I thought I thought you were white. And in that you always feel as if persons are after you because some people do become after you. And the trauma that is created in those experiences are long lasting. So you always, so before it even happens, you make yourself a victim. And so we must always ask ourselves, am I creating a space where I become the victim while no one else is doing anything. And lastly, abandoning people in our lives without just means. I think that one says it for, for itself because I spoke about it a little bit with, with the self hate. It's okay to move away from persons who hurt us and who refuse to change or who do not see that the hurt is causing us pain. Though we repeat ourselves over and over and over again, can you please stop? But there's a difference when you just abandon a person because you are getting, your life is getting better. I don't need you. Bitch, I don't want you in my life because my life is better and you do not fit. You need to just move away from me. Do we do that to other persons in our lives? Do we plan to do that? When I get married, I hope, I know that I'm not going to, to be with my, or spend time with my uh, best friend because I'm going to be married and I'm going to be so busy with kids. And so I know that I won't have any time for Jessica. Though Jessica was there for you <laughs> when you had that surgery, though Jessica was there for you when your parents put you out, you achieved something and now you do not see Jessica as part of the picture. So instead of finding space for Jessica and a role for Jessica in this new life, in this new world, you're kicking Jessica out. So what is the theory? And I'm going back to the narcissism aspect of it because you know we all yell narcissist narcissist but there is a spectrum to narcissism uh when it comes to personality and the personality disorder and i always tell people i just know these things from experience i am not a therapist i'm just a theorist narcissists hate themselves there is a voice inside of them that says, good is not enough. And so they would do these things, discontent, self-hate, victimhood, abandoning others, because there is this voice, this nagging voice, or sometimes not even a voice, just an existence of not good enough. But as they always say, perfection is the enemy of good. And I will add, perfection is the enemy of happiness. So Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, they should be examples of what we shouldn't do in our lives. We should be, look for the, for the good things, look for the people who love us, 
hold on to the persons who even in hurting us want to change because for all the money that they have for all i mean oh montecito next to oprah for all the money that they have you can see from her cheshire or whatever however they pronounce it cheshire and from the caribbeans forgive me i can't pronounce that from that grin that that is forced and that is fake and they are not happy and you could see from his whittling head <laughs> that he is just going away soon and his 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 unpressed clothing and how he carries himself with a sense of 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 stewing anger that they aren't happy and and even the person say you don't happiness does not exist you won't get that the fact of the matter is happiness is a presence and not a goal and they don't have it this is the theorist click the notification button to keep up like and subscribe so you can hear more theories bye